Hello, I'm Harry Tambuaki here on the final episode of uh, this program where we called it No to Neocotinoid. Neocotinoid. We have Raul Alcazar, Save the Coconut Movement, Batangas, and from Quezon we have Bin Lava, Saint Save the Coconut, and we have Aleli Pansicola of Daila. Uh, Aleli. Mm -hmm. Your products, you promoted to me, I remember, four or five years ago, how it has a herbal and organic way or solution of disinfecting whatever plants and whatever. For example, in those days, it was a dengue mosquito. Uh, does that still stand and does it work with this coco lisap issue? Yeah, it does work. In fact, I call it the common sense solution. Kasi itong mga ginagamit na neonicotinoids, ano, ang mamahal. Ang mahal ba yan? Instruct, oh. Spargel? Yes, yeah. kaya na 750 million yung budget. Ay, yung budget ng ano, senator, senator. Oh, sige, sige. I heard nga 480 pesos per tree. Per tree. But you said 5 ml lang ang ginagamit. Uh, Di ba? 400, 400 pesos per tree. Oh, 400 pesos, pesos per tree, yes. pero hindi ba 5 ml lang ang minimix sa ano? So, uh, so that has to be expensive. Confirmed. Parang uh, ganun yung input. Oh, so that has to be still, it's still very expensive. You're promoting otherwise. Yeah. What's your solution? Because, uh, in-explain ko nga, itong mga, uh, ito, itong mga kulisap, kokulisap, ano, flying insect yan. So, meron siyang, ano, maliliit yan eh, meron siyang uh, Bugs, wings. Bugs, fruit plants. Oh, oh, may mga plants. wings yan. Etong sabon, they, you heard already way before, except ang ginamit nila ay hindi natural sabon, but ang ginamit ng PCA non was joy, which is uh, chemical. chemical detergent. So, it did not work. Sabi kasi nila, it did not work. But it does work when you use soap. Organic, Organic soap. soap. Oh, oh. Bakit? Pag may And chemical yung sabon, based. hindi pwede. Di ba mas lumilinis sa taong chemical? Not necessarily. <laughs> Gumagas pa lang balat mo. Namumuti, pero wala nang balat. Di ba pwedeng balat. gamitin sa mukha mo at sa buhok mo Ay, and all pwede. that. Oh. But ours pwede. Multipurpose kasi. Coconut based. Ano? Ngayon, pag minix mo yan sa water and then you spray it, Siyempre, pag natuyo yun, mabigat yun dun sa mga wings ng kukulisap. Ayun. And so, common sense, it drops, it dies. di ba? Also, nagbaba na yung, uh, ano nun, yung uh, uh, population. Is the uh, pollinator? It's not. No. That's the bug. It's not. The pollinator is the, are the insects that fly from flower to flower. Uh, and like, the then, bees. like the bees. Like the bees. Yeah, like the bees. King and, I. and then the cocolisap <laughs> is what lands on the leaves. lands leaf. on the leaves and stays so there. It's a parasite. It sucks. It uh -huh. sucks. Bakit sabi mo lumilipad yung cocolisap? Bago siya pumunta doon, lumilipad ano siya. Wind it's blown. Wind blown. It's wind blown. It's wind blown. Uh -huh. So may counting wings to. Uh -huh. They spread to other leaves. Parang scale. Parang... Nag-i-scale siya. Oo. Oh, oh. Parang flood siya eh. Uh, so, siguro, parang kang nag nagpapalipad ng frisbee, mga gano'n. Uh, tapos. Parang frisbee yan eh. So, it, it lands in others. That's how it spreads. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Tapos, kumakabit na dun sa leaves. Tapos, nagkakaroon siya ng mga eggs. Yung mga eggs na yun, na, nababalutan ng parang wax. Again, okay. if you spray the eggs, mababalot yun dun sa bibigat, sabon nga. Mabagsak. Hindi lang bibigat, kundi nasusuffocate. Uh, kasi nasasara ng... Oo. Oh, oh. Nang ngayon, ang coconut kasi, kaya coconut base, meron niyang monolorin. And ang monolorin ay ginagamit nila dun sa mga hindi na ma-penetrate ng antibiotics. Ginagamit nila itong monolorin na galing sa coconut para palambutin yung nakabalot. And so, yung mga essential oil na nilalagay natin dito, nakakapasok. And then they deal with the, coconut, with the eggs. So, namamatay din yun. So, Wouldn't this be a cheaper solution? Definitely, it's less than 10 pesos per tree. Kasama na yung labor doon. Paano yung pinopromote naman ni Nature Farm, si Costales? Vinegar yun. You, you know of that solution too? Yeah, I, if that's the wood vinegar, it comes from bambus na sinusunog. Ah, sinusunog, and then they get the vinegar. vinegar. So, that's also an organic solution, uh -huh. which is also cheap. Mm. So, a slew of different... If you know how, you can make it yourself. Eh, wala nga. Mamira ko yung education. Matagal eh. 
Uh, well, uh, kada barangay, gumawa kayo ng biocenter nyo. But you're talking political will. Well, we're not talking about the duck. <laughs> we're talking about populism here. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, pero ilan lang tayo. Ilan lang tayo. Tatatlo lang tayo, hindi natin kaya yan. Mar maraming ba solusyon na organic other uh, than the start? Marami pang iba. Yung mga iba. Yung crop guard. Yung crop guard. Yung guard. Uh, Tapos, yung egay maranan. Ang crop guard is uh, organic. Oh. Yes. Coco base din. Ah, coco base din yes, yun. Yes, correct. So you use the same organic products into the flower, into yes. the tree. Mm -hmm. Ano yan? Uh, manufactured by Chemres. No? Chemres is a publicly listed uh, company. Ha? Nagawa silang mm -hmm. biodiesel. Oh, and, and in fact, ako gumagamit ako sa sasakyan ng additive Bio nila. Yung bioactive. Mm -hmm. Ginagamit ko sa sasakyan yun. No? And then, they have this crop guard. Merong FPA permit yan. Now, hindi na mamatay na hindi na mamatay yung puno. I mean, hindi. pwede pa kainin yung mga laman ng puno. Yes. Hindi gaya ng sta sta Stargel. Yes. Kasi okay. Stargel is invasive. Ito spray lang sa labas. Mm -hmm. Like your products the same. You just keep yeah. on you spray mo lang. You spray mo lang. Oh. You spray lang. <laughs> oh. Yes. Did Hello. you did you try your product on 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 the actual coppice of trees? I mean, in infected areas. Yeah, we have uh, actually La Sal, yung entomology department nila tried it sa. Uh, no, Which dito La sa uh, La Sal tapo entomology taf. department. Yung mga balikbayan scientists tried it. Meron kami phenom na group sa Luzonian uh, University sa Lucena tried it. And uh, yun nga, di, yung kaibigan ko sa DOST, tried it in their farm. It worked? Yeah, it did work. Sa farm ko, sa Quezon, Mauban Quezon, we tried it. Wala ka ng inf infestation? Oo, kasi uh, usually it takes uh, mga in two weeks time, makikita mo na lumalabas na yung mga green. The shoots. Uh, yung mga green It's growing shoots. again in other words. Yeah. Ones. Because with the coccolis of infection, it stops no. growth of any kind. Nag-yellow na lahat and then Nilaman it dies. The Nag tree will not be able to produce its food dahil patay ang photosynthesis. So it kills the tree? Slowly. Slowly. Yes. Pero at this point, no, kahit nung may infestation pa, kahit outbreak pa yan, meron pa rin pakinabang. Mm -hmm. May nakukuha pa rin yung mga farmers natin na pakonti-konting bunga. Mm -hmm. no? So, but Nung nag-umpisa sila ng injection, harvest yan, baba lahat. No? Mm. And then, mamulaklak ulit. Kakalbuhin. Ah. Yes, oo. So, it will take one year para mamunga uli. Now, during this period, kung magutong yung farmer, di ba? Ano option niya? Coco Lambert. Oo nga, no? putuli na. Coco Lambert, putuli na. na lang yan. So, sayang yung ginamit mo, assuming na effective nga, ha? Kasi may one-year displacement ang uh, farmer. Mm. No, eh kung magutom yan... Wow, parang K-12 pala ito, no? Yes. May kung, issue rin, no? May, may, issue, may gestation yes. period, which can also be likewise. What you're saying is, it can be equally devastating. Yes. Puputulin ko na lang. Gutom na ako eh. Mabay benta to, Coco Lambert. O kaya, pag nakita mo may buko ka, benta mo yung buko. Oo, tapos, uh, hindi natin alam na yung puno pa lang yun, eh tinurukan. Baka makarating sa buko sa alag natin o sa gata, sa laing. ba diba? You're scary. It's, really it's, scary. it's scary. It's scary. It's true. Talagang it's scary. No? And, uh, Kung malaman ng taong bayan yun, mas lalong babagsak ang benta ng buko. Correct. Ayun yung sinasabi nga namin. Bumabagsak na hindi, na yan, eh. hindi nila kinukonsider. Ano sabi mo, bumabagsak na nga ang benta right now? Hmm, so, konti na yung uh, sa, sa nito, yung original buko pa ay, Palaging Wala out na. of Reklamo stock na. na. Reklamo na. Oh, si si Colette's si Colet, si buko. Oh, 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 yung pinipila oh, natin sa Los Banyos, wala nang pila. Hindi, oh. meron pa. Meron, meron pa. pa. Meron pa. Meron pa. Meron Pero pa. wala palaging stock. Hindi, meron, meron stock. pa. Kumahaba. Dahil <laughs> sa kakakunti yung stock. Ano? <laughs> no, so, hindi lang yun ang issue. Ha? Sinasabi nila, 60 day, 51 days yung dissipation, dissipation. yung active ang Uh, Starkel do sa nyog. Ang buhay naman itong kokulisa, 40 days. So, mga anak yung kokulisa, ay, yung kokulisa, paano? Mm. So, yung second generation <laughs> na exposed, <laughs> na, yung second generation na exposed do sa Starkel, 
magde-develop ng resistance. Doon takot na takot ang mga entomologist. Isa dahil pa yun, ano? nagbe-breed kayo ng pesticide resistant, resistant uh, uh, scale insects. Which will be harder to control. Oh. Yes. Oh. Eh, maybe another uh, form of chemical. This time but it's I'm going to be no, mas toxic, stronger. Mas, ma, mas but stronger. those toxic. in government who are in charge with this, the, these people, are, they're scientists as well, don't they know this? They know. Question. Good question. <laughs> I can't answer What for can them. What can we no? say? But we are just lay people. But Alam mo mga scientists, have... okay? Mas marami tayong scientists who are uh, pro-natural and pro-organic na But they cannot, approach. But they cannot ano? come out. Oh, oh. Uh, Why can't they come out? Well, bring they, them here I... on this show. We'll expose them. <laughs> we will. Yeah. We, oh, will. Talaga? we will bring oh. Dr. Tabacero. Let them talk. Let them say the truth. Yes. Oh. If it's only if it's going to save the people, it's going to save the our industry. food. Our food, basically. Oh. Yeah. Our food is our basically food supply. our food supply. Yeah. I mean, we can't let a Hitler rise once again and, you know, go over his ideas only to promote their theories that are uh, incomplete and incorrect. Anyway, gentlemen, uh, lady, we are at the end of the show. Sabi ko ang bilis na 45, 50 minutes, ano? <laughs> Parang ko, isa lang natin. How about a message to our viewers? Let's start with Aleli Tansakola. Anong po message niyo? <laughs> oh, kasi an, ang ang ating bansa kasi punong-puno na ng mga chemicals ano kaya pahirap ng pahirap ang uh, pag ano pagbabago ng to go, go back to the basic to go back to the old pure and natural ano so sana hindi tayo gumamit ng mga chemicals pa kung meron naman na substitute very quickly before you go talk about your Victoria This is the what she promotes <laughs> as the solution. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's it already. It's organic. It's organic. It's it will, natural. Natural. It'll kill the bugs. Even uh -huh. gogolies up and even dengue. Oh, oh, and mosquitoes. Uh, dengue mosquitoes. mosquitoes. And it has won several international awards. The only thing you can do with this is brush your teeth with. Oh, you can do oh, that you too. Can. <laughs> <laughs> Vin, what's your message? <laughs> no, <not> organic, talaga. Etong. <laughs> <laughs> Ito na dinadaanan natin is the result of biodiversity loss. Uh, uh, we do we have to protect our ecosystem because once this becomes a wasteland, we will just be lurching from one crisis to another. Ayusin na natin ang kalikasan natin. Let's not give birth to a new monster. Roll? Yeah. Okay. During our conversation with uh, Secretary Keiko and uh, Administrator Arancon, humingi lang kami ng one month moratorium on drug injection. In that period, papatunayan nilang mga UPLB scientists that we are already on the recovery stage. One month lang. In fact, ang challenge ko pa nga sa kanila eh, kung if in one month, no, uh, hindi effective, Uh, walang kwenta yung mga findings ng mga scientists natin, you can go back to trunk injection. But I am very confident na uh, bigyan nyo lang kaming one month, no? we can prove na talagang recovery stage na at meron ng tayong natural, endemic, and native parasitoid uh, na kumakain na sa kokonisap. At hindi na natin kailangan gumastos ng 750 million. Libre to, Libre. Oh. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, really, it's not all about the money. 750 million compared to 2 trillion that the country really spends. It's, it is a lot of money, but it's also not a lot of money based on the measure or the, the value per se. The, the real problem here, the real issue that uh, I think we've learned in this program is one, let's not give birth to uh, another insect that we can no longer control that might turn out to be as bad as the Ebola virus we're seeing around the world. Two, let's make sure that people in government who are our country managers have the competence and they listen to the people with knowledge, if necessary, from the academe, if not even those with hands-on experience called the agriculturists who actually live by this sort of world. Three, let us try to remember you are only as good as what information is given you. Pag nakikinig ka lang 
sa mga iba, iba na sinasabi, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Parang nakinig ka ng sona, naniwala ka na. Alam niyo po, yung Yolanda, totoo po yun. Nangyari po yun. At you know what? Hirap pa rin po yun. Not for anything else. Sila pa rin, they are still suffering. And everything that you hear, that they're doing so well, well, it's like our politics. Pagaling ng pagaling ng mga tao sa gobyerno. Ang problema, ang daan matuwid ay walang korap. Kung walang korap, walang mahirap. Ang problema, dumami ang mahirap, tumaas pa ang CCT. Salamat na lang sa RH Bill. Pero tumaas pa rin ang populasyon, ano? Ang gulo na ng mundo. Until another time. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Sorry for my bad. <laughs>